Hi Bull Bakers, this holiday season I'm very happy to be partnering with Ghirardelli to be able to bring you some big and bold chocolate recipes. This week we are making a trio of chocolate mug cakes, each one more decadent than the next. So let's get started. A lot of you know that one of my bowl baking tips is to use good quality chocolate every time because it yields you great results in your recipes. Stay tuned throughout this video where I'll share with you some more secrets on how to have successful mug cakes. Okay, let's kick this thing off with a mug cake that is gluten-free, very decadent, and you probably didn't even know you could make in a microwave. It is molten lava cake. We're gonna start out in a microwaveable mug. Now the mugs that I use are small, they're around six ounces and they're a perfect size for my recipes. Into my mug, I'm adding my Ghirardelli 60% bittersweet chocolate chips followed by your butter. Now, just pop this in the microwave until the two ingredients melt, doesn't take long. Into your melted chocolate, add in your cocoa powder, salt, and vanilla extract, and then whisk all together with a fork. One of the reasons I love these mug cakes is because you don't need special equipment and you can even just mix it all together with a fork, like how easy is that? In a separate medium-sized bowl, I'm going to crack in my egg and add in my sugar. And then I'm going to whisk them by hand until they get nice and thick. What we're looking for is trying to get this egg nice and light and fluffy. So if you have an electric hand mixer, you can even use that because by hand, it does take a lot of elbow grease, but this is the texture that we want, lovely and bubbly. And this is what will make your lava cake almost mousse-like. Now add your fluffy egg mix into your chocolate and then gently fold the two mixes together. You'll see as you're mixing all of the bubbles that come up and your mix gets thicker, it's almost mousse-like. So once it's cooked, you have this lovely smooth texture. The last secret ingredient in this mug cake is chocolate chips in the middle. Now we add these in just to ensure that you have a lovely gooey lava center. I like to give them a little bit of push down and hide them in there. This looks fantastic. Now remember, these recipes are not just for the holidays, they're for all year round, and they're actually perfect for entertaining. So I have put the recipe for one mug cake and for six mug cakes over on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com, along with lots of other instructions. Okay, this guy is ready for the microwave. Now the timing that I give to cook it is based on my microwave, which is 1200 watts. So depending on your microwave, your timing may vary. Our mug cake is out of the microwave and it looks fantastic. You see all those lovely bubbles on top? That's what beating the egg created. Just a nice, light, airy mug cake. It looks so good and it smells delicious. I'm gonna set this guy aside, let it cool down for five minutes and then we can decorate him. I like to keep this dessert simple, so I serve it with some vanilla ice cream on top and then some shaved chocolate for added effect. Okay, I want to show you why I was making all the fuss about this mug cake. Just look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. Even though you might think it's just a little mug cake, it's definitely a classy dessert and I think it deserves a lot of credit. But I'm not gonna fill up on this mug cake because we have to move on to the next one. Our next mug cake up is a well-balanced marriage of fruity and sweet. It is a classic white and raspberry mug cake. We're gonna start out in a small bowl. Add in your Ghirardelli white chips and some milk. And then just like before, I'm gonna pop these in the microwave until the white chips melt. Once your white chips have melted, add in some flavorless oil, flour, sugar, and raising agent, and then whisk them all together with a fork. A lot of you out there will be happy to know that this is an egg-free mug cake. I get so many requests for them, so I hope you really like it. Once your cake batter is lovely and smooth like this, we can put it into our microwaveable mug. Just before we add in our cake batter, I'm going to add a generous spoonful of raspberry jam. So it's like a little sweet surprise when you get to the bottom. And that's it. Look how sweet it looks in its little mug. This guy is ready for the microwave. Our mug cake is out of the microwave. And as you can see, it looks fantastic. All the bubbles on top, it's risen. It's firm in the middle when you push it down. It's perfectly cooked. We're gonna set this guy aside, let it cool down a little bit, and then we can decorate him. I like to decorate my mug cake with fresh raspberries and some white chocolate curls. Don't forget, with all of my mug cakes, they can be made up to two days in advance and kept in the refrigerator, so you can cook them off whenever you want them. I'm not gonna stop at this mug cake because there's more to come. Our next recipe up is a harmonious blend of salty and sweet. It's a chocolate and peanut butter mug cake. In a small bowl, add in your flour, brown sugar, cocoa powder, flavorless oil, water, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. And then whisk them all together with a fork until there's no lumps. You might have noticed that this mug cake is also egg free. It is so good. This actually smells like brownie batter. It looks like it too. Since this is a chocolate and peanut butter mug cake, I'm going to add a big tablespoon of peanut butter into the bottom of my mug. And then just pour your chocolate cake batter on top. Now the reason I mix these mug cakes in a bowl was because I wanted to put something in the bottom of the mug, but you can actually mix it in the mug if you want to. This mug cake is a thing of beauty. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a generous sized mug cake, but I'm sure you're able for it. 
we're gonna pop this guy in the microwave. And as with all my mug cakes, cook him very gently because you want to make sure he stays nice and moist in the middle. Check it out, our chocolate and peanut butter mug cake looks and smells amazing. I can't wait to try this guy. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit before we decorate him. To serve my mug cake, I like to pipe on some whipped cream mixed with peanut butter. And then I top it off with some toasted peanuts. This mug cake is rich, it's creamy, it's a little bit salty. It's everything I love in a dessert. Whether you're entertaining others or just treating yourself, everybody deserves a mug full of chocolate love. How will you bake with Ghirardelli this holiday? Be sure to share your photos of your holiday baking with the hashtag Sweetest Secret. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here every Thursday for more Bigger Bolder Baking.